Well, good day and welcome back. So, as we discussed previously, we're going to take a look at a couple of things this episode, one of which was some building, and the other of which was finalizing our advanced glider. So, we finally got that in place now, which is good. Which is a fairly easy thing to do. Might do a quick little jump off the roof and test it out. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, you can see already we've got a lot more travel with how far we can fly, which is awesome. And as we took a look at earlier, when you look at the range comparison, so you've got 100% range, 10 speed, Full stamina per second, and with the advanced you've got 150% range, 15 speed, full stamina per second. So there's a lot more range on it. It's going to be a fantastic addition. Alrighty, so now that we've got that in place, we do have a lot of missions this episode, so we're going to try and get as much done as we possibly can. Next thing we're going to take a look at now is the renovations that I've done. Okay, so what I've done while I was offline just a moment ago is gone into this bottom corner here and done all the repairs on it. So you can see all of those corners and all the rest of it are all nice now. I've had to sort of extrapolate what I believe the corners would look like because a lot of this is in ruin. But it's something that I really enjoy doing, so it's been quite fun to do. And I've only done just this one quarter, so I haven't even touched the roof as yet, and I haven't even touched either side of that pillar there above my head or either side of that pillar there, and I've only done just inside here. And that took me probably, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes of buggerizing around, but, I mean, it's really fun. It's something I've really wanted to do this build around, and and that is renovated building even though it's a big pain in the butt it's just it's one of the things i just had sort of on the list to do at some stage in this game is just to do a renovation see what it's like see how difficult it is and just sort of you know see the end results i mean while it is a little painful sort of fixing all these little things here to be honest if you're going to build them yourself you'd spend probably three times the amount of time getting all this beautiful detailing and everything in the roof here in place. So to me, it's worth it. I don't mind it at all. And what I can do now is probably set one of the builders up here and start thinking about getting them set up permanently. And then what I'll do once I've removed, I'll probably put the carpenter there. And once I've probably got him in place, I'll just swallow him offline, gin around and fix this next quadrant here up and probably just move up this side and get this side completed and get all the floor finalized you can sort of mess around and fix you're supposed to be able to not fix these uh, floor sections but if you persist with getting the tiles in place you can so you can see there that there's a stone that's sitting there generally what happens is it's because there's something else underneath it so if I just clear a few little sort of stones underneath and uh, there's probably another layer underneath so what happens what's happened in this section here is that They've got the one layer there that I'm standing on, and then there's another layer that's underneath for the roof of this that I'm standing in right now. Now, I've left all of this in place deliberately as well, all this shrouded area. I wanted it this way. I just wanted my base to be a little bit different, a little bit cool. So I've got some shrouded areas now, and uh, I left the cells in place where they were as well because I wanted that to be a little different, a little interesting. I'm not really phased that I don't have that area to build in. I can build in it, but it's just uh, it's just enshrouded right now. What will happen though is once I upgrade, it won't be enshrouded anymore. So we're looking into that as well. 
I'm still tossing up on whether I will upgrade or not. But you can sort of imagine when you approach this here, what this entire building would look like once it's renovated. I think it'll be really cool. <laughs> All right, so what we'll do now, I think this will be the end for this one. What I may do, just for the sake of having a look at it, I may actually next time head off and look at strengthening the flame because we do have everything now. We've got the scavenger matron head which was the last thing and we've also gone and got some sparks as well so i may take a look at upgrading and what will probably happen that with that being the case is that the shroud will probably remove from here so i'm still yet to decide whether i want that to actually be the case i do kind of like that i've got a section under here, under here that's sort of enshrouded, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm a bit fickle with these things, so we'll work it out. I may just sort of decide that I just want to do it and be done with it. But what I did, you know, in preparation was went and got all of those things so that we could upgrade. And that's what we'll look at next time is possibly upgrading that. What I'll also do as well is probably while we're offline, I'll go and start putting a few candles and torches and uh, more fireplaces and whatnot in place. That way, when I am coming back at night, I'll have each of the builders sort of, you know, lit. And what I'll do is I'll probably light each of these quadrants as I've done them. So what I can do now is I can go to the carpenter, and as we discussed earlier, there's a lot of things that are used for building right now, which I do have, but I haven't really wanted to spend the resources on as yet and haven't really been too concerned with. So what I'll do is I'll sort of make a decision on what I want to spend resources wise on getting lighting up and running, because what we can do is go here and there's also some cheaper illumination that you can use here. So you can create a whole heap of just little candles if you want as well. And also the firefly lamps. We didn't really collect a lot of fireflies as yet. But in terms of fireflies, at our original spawn spot here in Cindervolt, you can just go down to the area around Long Keep here. There's tons and tons of them. And you can just fast travel and teleport down there. There's not really a whole lot of fireflies out around this sort of area here where we are in this zone but generally out on the plains there's a lot of fireflies out there so you can go and collect those from there so we'll take a look at that next time as well all right well that'll be it for us this time around we'll see you next time